This is one of my favorite spins and poses on the pole. I think it has so many different variations. I'm sure you can play with it, um, experiment and maybe find your own way of um, getting in there or getting out. Uh, such a beautiful shape. But so yeah, let's to experiment with it. Let's experiment from the floor first as usual, because this is the safest way and the easiest way yeah, to learn things. And um, this is how we start. Facing the pole, we're imagining that we're climbing the pole. So for me, I usually climb with my right leg for, or right leg first. So I have right leg behind, left leg in front. And we want to go to ballerina pose. So I usually, for me, it's naturally, if right leg was on the back, I go to the right side and I bring my right arm up. So I have opposite now, and then we can, yeah, we can switch the legs a little bit, but I have opposite now, arm and leg. Yeah, so if I have a left leg in front of the pole, slightly bent, I have my right arm on the top straight. And this is just the first position to understand the entrance. This is how we're gonna to learn today. From here now, I want to bring my inside arm next to the thigh. The common mistake, if you see now, I won't be able to do it because the body is so squeezed towards the pole. So what we want to do, we want to tilt a little bit tailbone, maybe up just a little bit and um, to do like a little squat or slide down, but not towards the pole, away from the pole. So we're sliding a little bit down, kind of like you're sitting on the chair. Now you see I have lots of space, so I can bring now my inside arm here next to the pole, so not this way, <laughs> yes, so from to the left, if it's left arm, it goes all the way to the left, next to the thigh, next to the belly, and I grab the pole really well with my left elbow. Yes, yeah, so this is the pose. Now, next part. I want to grab my right leg. And here you can experiment so much. You can actually just grab it like this if you want, but I usually grab it lower. So what I do, I bring my right leg, and I'll point the toe, I bring it up, I grab it a little bit higher than my point, Yes, so not on the toe like this. You see, this is, we want to not to do it uh, today. So we're trying to hold it a little bit higher than my point. And now we need to engage all the muscles because if we don't engage, we're probably a little bit dangerous. So we're engaging all our core. I'm pushing my chest up, engaging my right arm, slowly lifting my lower leg up. And this is just the beginning to start spinning like this. If you want, you can bring the leg back, extend or bend and just stay here as long whoa, as long <laughs> as you can repeat this exercise both sides again left and right and then let's do it um, a little bit higher another way how you can get to this position and as i said before you can experiment so much with it and find maybe your own beautiful entrance but this is another one that you can do standing from behind the pole and this one of course is going to be probably only on the floor so we have our legs really open wide we're going to bend our front leg and then for example first of all it's good for the pictures so if you want you can pose here then we grab we'll be, be, um, move our hips a little bit away from the pole grab the pole with our elbow inside elbow yes as you know engaging all the muscles bringing one leg up this is already beautiful pose and then push and start spinning yeah here so this is another amazing way to get in there in this beautiful shape we so practice and then let's go <laughs> do it up on the pole. Okay, so now let's try. Going normal <laughs> climb, at least for me. Yeah, I have a normal climb. Then I usually remove both legs, bring chest forward, catch the pole into the ballerina pose. And now you see, if I'm gonna try to do it, I won't be able because there's no space for my arm. So remember, squat down. I'm kind of trying to sit down on the chair, bringing arm in, bringing leg up, catching on the point. Engaging arms, engaging core, bringing back my leg, spin here. And then for example, you can finish in this pose. That can be one way to get out from this trick. Now, let's do the second part. It can seem a little bit tricky, but I promise you, you can do it. I know it because I have such a big experience in teaching this move around the world to different levels everyone can do it this is not so much about flexibility this is more about the core and strength so this is what we want to do and um i don't know i call it basic twist i don't know if it's the correct name for it but i'm going to show maybe on the floor first so you can uh, also warm up and understand uh what i want from you so 
what I mean by basic twist. I want you to go down, sit in this position when we have one leg in front and it's open so I don't sit on top of it, which I mean you can if you want you can, but I usually for warm up prefer to do it this way. So I sit like this. Now we need to engage all the core again. If I'm going to be just relaxed and going to try to reach for the leg, it's not going to happen. So engaging glutes, engaging all the core. Imagine you have an orange behind your shoulder blades. You squeeze orange behind your shoulder blades. So you stay here for a little bit, then keep engaging your muscles. You bend your back leg and you reach towards it. You twist, you can add breathing. Breathing in, breathing out. We twist and we catch our foot so right arm holds the left foot now here again i'm not relaxed glutes are engaged i'm keep squeezing the orange on my back and then if you want you can press your foot against your hand and when you do it your body gonna open a little bit more so that's it this is the pineapple position that's what we want to do so i recommend to do it on the floor first both sides again so you can warm up your body and you can understand what you need to do and then you slowly come back okay now let's try to do the full combo on the floor first so the same beginning like you already know ballerina position again keep it simple so feet on the floor so you don't need to make it too difficult right now remember we start with the upper arm first we go as low as we can and keep the hand on because if you're gonna remove it and then you're gonna slide down you see what's gonna happen and then you won't be able to crack I mean, maybe, but it's really difficult. So from the beginning, keep it really low. Hold the ball, hold, don't remove it. Now you go slide down to the squat like you practiced already. Grab the pole with your inside elbow. Bring your outside arm, outside leg <laughs> to the arm, to the inside hand. Take it, engage the muscles. If you're on the spinning pole, push. So this is the first position. Now, if you need to correct, go even lower, remove the arm reach for the leg extend that's it this is our beautiful pineapple position you can do it here on the floor if you want to and then you can go out and one more time on the pole now here <laughs> legs off chest forward legs around ballerina pose start with the upper arm as lower as you can then the squat bring the arm in catch the leg if you need to correct here so it goes even lower do it remove the leg push it back bend catch push stay to get out i usually extend both of my feet you can bend them if you want you can do something like this too and that's it. 